Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. My name is Kerry Green. I'm here to encourage you to get your mind aligned with the truth of God every single day. Hey, I want to take just a moment and give a quick hello to some friends of ours, friends of The Morning Mindset, Travis and Natalie. These are folks we met when we were in Colorado Springs. They just reached out and wanted to have dinner together, and we loved doing that. My wife and I did. And in case you don't know, my wife and I and our youngest daughter are now traveling full-time around the United States. We decided to sell our home and buy an RV to travel in, and that's what we're doing. We would love to meet you if we're in your neck of the woods. It is currently September of 2019, and we are going to be in the New York City and New England area over the fall time of this year. We would love to meet you if you're in that area. Please send an email, Carrie, C-A-R-E-Y, at kerrygreen.com. We would love to connect and hear your story and get to know you a little bit. It's just fun for us to meet brothers and sisters in the Lord as we travel. And if you would like to do that, hey, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's move back to Psalm chapter 119. 119 is one of the Psalms that's kind of unique in the scriptures. It's the longest chapter in the entire Bible when you look at number of verses. And it is also one of the most focused when it comes to topic because Psalm chapter 119 is entirely focused on God's word. You hear it stated in things like testimonies, statutes, your word, your commandments. And today, we are going to be looking at Psalm 119, verse number 129 and following. It says, your testimonies, there it is, God's word, are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your way with those who love your name. Keep steady my steps according to your promise, and let no iniquity get dominion over me. I just love this section for a couple of reasons. First of all, the way that it shows God's word as giving light and imparting understanding to the simple. And that word simple could mean naive or ignorant, someone who doesn't know. It could also mean foolish. And so God's word imparts understanding to us about things we don't know and need to know. I love that it is teaching us this kind of thing. It's showing us the benefit of God's word. But then in verse 131, when it says, I open my mouth and pant because I long for your commandments. I get that imagery. Oh, I so get it. We have a black lab who we just went on a walk uh, the other night in Washington, D.C., and it was hot. I'm telling you, it was hot. And that dog was panting because it was longing for a cool environment, for water, for whatever it was that that would satiate its thirst. And my friends, I wonder, does that describe us when it comes to God's law, his commandments, his word? Do we truly in our soul pant for it? Do we need it like my dog needed water? We do. We really do need it like that. But do we recognize it? Do we intentionally in a figurative way, I guess, open our mouths and pant longing for God's word? If not, let's ask him to provide that for us. Let's ask him to do that. Verse 132 goes on and kind of turns in that direction. It says, turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your way with those who love your name. Keep steady my steps according to your promise and let no iniquity get dominion over me. Do you see how David is asking God to help him with this task? He's asking God to help him walk in a steady way to overcome iniquity or sin. My friends, we need to lean on our God in that way. We need to ask him for such bold things to help us, to strengthen us, to even give us a hunger so that we pant for his word. I just so appreciate that you're taking time to start that process every day with the morning mindset. And I wonder, do you know a friend who could benefit from the morning mindset as well? We're up over almost 18,000 daily listeners. You can help someone else find the morning mindset. And join me again tomorrow.